Nothing to worry about. There is everything, everything is to worry about. Nothing is fine. <laughs> Everything's terrible. We have evil Superman destroying the Justice League and entire planet civilizations. <laughs> Nothing shady about these characters. Just doing their normal job at the normal warehouse. But maybe they'll hit us with some, some themes for the episode, as intro characters often do. Yep. Just my normal construction job gun. My warehouse job gun. <laughs> Standard issue. Is the shirtless this necessary? Of course it is. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, it's this guy. I remember him. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, he is fine, actually. <laughs> you should have died to make my joke funny. You really have a lot of guns. <laughs> oh my god. I guess in this kind of world, people would be better armed, right? There's like uh, that arms race. Oh no. Tell Mr. Lou next time I find him on our turf, I won't be so gentle. I'm sure he's fine. There we go. Don't be stupid, kid. I'm cutting you a <laughs> Oh no. Go! He's got guts. I love how it's just like his normal routine now. He seems so settled. He did a good job, like, showing the passing of time. Oh no. That's a PR nightmare. Not liking this negativity. <laughs> you went all the way across town to get cheesecake. Yep. To make up for being late because you went across town to get cheesecake. It's just not adding up, is it? Tell her the truth. You can tell how much she likes him. She can't stay angry at all for more than five seconds. And I don't think it's the cheesecake. <laughs> Although it doesn't hurt, right? Cheesecake is, is good stuff. What did we ever do to you? Kevin, shut up. Leave it alone. Kevin's regretting that, <laughs> that decision. There's a place on 3rd and Parkland. They'll put you up for a few weeks. That's nice. Interesting. Conscientious villainy. Hi. Just loving it. Don't be scared. I got this. But, uh, I guess get your stuff? <laughs> He's like so perfectly oh, awkward. Again, Mr. Sayer. You, you still have your burger this? job? Just quit! 12 times in the past quit. three months. I'm sorry, but I'm docking your shifts. Quit and drop out of school. What could you possibly get out of it? This is why I would not make it as a hero. I mean, there are many reasons, but one reason is I couldn't take this crap. Listen, Burger Mart Phil or whatever your name is. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm in- School is different because at least I feel like that could be fun socially, but I would not- do homework. This power would go to my head. I would not do anything I didn't want to. But I don't know, maybe there's something good about sticking to his normal life. It might keep him grounded. And if his father is any indication, I can see that being really important for a superhero level figure. Don't bother. There you go. I quit. There you go. What? But stay grounded. <laughs> stay grounded, Mark. Grayson? That's right, Phil. Grayson? You can't leave, can you? I'll have the cash tomorrow, I swear. Tell your boss I need more time. There isn't any more time, This guy's Gary. busy. <laughs> this is one day. I like his, uh, his productivity. Got a solid work ethic. Uh, uh, Two days. After that, uh, you're paying sidewalk. I love the, the, the development for this, this character. He's got a heart, subtly. Make him think you'll actually drop him. I can hear you! I don't know, that, that seems mean. I feel like he's already All right, gonna here, be I'll scared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so casually that he did that. You're gonna catch him, right? Yeah. <laughs> did he? No. <laughs> That's kind of terrifying. Good stuff. Very fun. Uh, Principal Winslow. I quit. I quit school. If you're planning to attend college, I'm not. We need to have a conversation about your recent. No, we don't. Goodbye. I'm going to the moon or whatever. See, authority is a lie. Just drop out. You're standing me up. You tread on dangerous ground, my friend. It'll be worth the wait to see me on my best behavior. That was such an accurate, world-accurate texting exchange with the spelling mistakes. Value everything you hold dear, Mark Grayson. He's gonna miss it, for sure. If I was her, I would think that he was cheating on me. Not bad for a guy with gravel for fingers. <laughs> I wonder why he's doing this. Seems like he's better than this. Oh, yeah. Information, am I right? Yeah. Paid in full. I'm done. I had a feeling. What's he got, like a little kid or something like that? You get shit done. You take bullets yeah, he's like a good champ, worker. don't even whine about it. Great work ethic. I'm like someone else in the room. It was one fucking time. I said- Shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes you let people live when they need to die. <laughs> this guy's got more auto-tune than like a late 2000s Little Wayne song. This is your life now. This is what you do. <laughs> I can't take this guy seriously. This is his voice. 
I know where your family lives, and that means you work <laughs> no. for me until I say so you're fucking done. Threatening and non-threatening simultaneously. This is not gonna last though. These father-son training exercises are getting cooler and cooler. Now just throw it back into space. Yeah. <sighs> and it's been implied, I guess, that Omni-Man is on his way out, right? He's getting weaker. The guy said he was struggling with that kaiju. So I guess there's a there's time pressure as well. I gotta run, Dad. Hey, whatever that is, your training is more important. I mean, it's not picture, right? wrong. I know, but it's Amber. You need needs, though. You need needs. You got needs. A man has his needs, and you can't hide them. I've been thinking so much about this recently. Responsibility is so important. But you cannot deny the things that you need as a human being. It will literally destroy you from the inside out, and your responsibilities will com come crumbling down. There's only so much you can rule yourself with an iron fist. It's kind of bizarre when you think about it, because we put so much focus into our cognition, and thinking that that's sort of what's in control, but sometimes I feel like the oldest things are the things that have the most power over us. Love, lust, hunger are just so deep and powerful. And our cognition is such a beautiful thing and gives us the advantage of having a final override on some of our actions so that we can have that extra level of strategy and leeway. But you ignore those things for for long enough, it just destroys you. They take over and your cognition has no say anymore. What ends up happening is that it pushes strong emotions or feelings of discontent to the surface. That then seeps into your cognition, so you're compromised, and then your cognition leads you to do the very thing that you've been craving. and all also on top of that, construct a convincing story for why that's essential. As scary as this is to say, it seems in many ways our cognition, our rational cognition, is not the ground level of our mental composition. But it's one of the most important things, and so I think the solution is to like acknowledge those needs and make sure they're taken care of in a way where you don't enter a point of scarcity, because that's when you you lose the ability to have that that sort of focal point, unless you're just the strongest person imaginable. That's probably why in the hierarchy of needs that you know self-actualization stuff is at the top. And this is also why I think I'm a skeptic when it comes to people's ability to reason through things. Like I said, it's terrifying, but a lot of that I feel is an illusion. Bottom line is, let Mark get laid. <laughs> we talked about this. Dad. I mean, maybe they're a little bit young. This is high school. But then again, it's America. Okay. So. Yes. Good dad. Good dad. I brought dessert. From? Ugh. Hit me with an exotic country, Mark. You were right. Your mom's a great cook. You should have told me. Oh, this was the day. During dinner. Two hours ago. No, no. You're not getting laid, Mark, tonight. <laughs> Half the time we make plans, you're late. Tell her the truth. But that doesn't make it okay if you keep doing it. Right. And tonight Fair. Was just definitely not okay. This was three right. months. This was meeting my mom. Right. Why? Because I'm, uh... You're what? Invincible. I'm, I'm invincible. Here comes a lie. Get ready for it. And do better, lie. Promise. Yeah, okay. No, you're not. I don't blame her. I get the superhero thing, of course. It's less of him being busy and more of him not keeping his commitments and the deception of it, as understandable as that is. But just assuming that he's committed to having to lie, I feel like there are ways to navigate this. Like, she wouldn't mind if Mark constructed a story about being really busy as long as he showed up when he was supposed to show up. She seems so mature for like a high school student. She would probably respect the fact that he was helping his dad. His busyness isn't the issue. It's the being able to rely on him, trust him, and know that he cares about her, which is perfectly valid. I mean, who doesn't want that? Just can't help yourself with the property damage. Can you, Mark? I'm not really in the mood. Mark. Even superheroes okay, would need off time. I'm as hard coming. as that would That's be, it's really tough, but. You just can't. You just can't do it all the time, 24-7. But man, does that hurt, like, letting people just get harmed? I don't know. What do you do? You need help, basically. You need to, like, what is it called? You need to scale. Scale up. I don't know about you guys, but I am rooting for this guy after this episode. Nah, it's his family. Did somebody ask for butterscotch ripple? <laughs> Speaking of not bringing your work home with you. We're not out, are we? Vanessa, it's not that simple. She knows. Don't. Everyone saw this coming except for you. A superhero. <laughs> Is he a good guy? That's what people say. It's not Are that simple. You a good guy? I. Uh... It's not What's that simple. Him? He calls himself. Hey, there we go. Nice. I thought he had to say it. <laughs> the home invasions continue. The seed is growing. I don't need to tell you when I break up with someone. The only, and I mean only reason I agreed to you being a superhero 
was because Rex was there to take care of you. What the hell? This is so weird. Rex cheated on me. Teen team broke yeah, up. Yeah, can we separate over. issues here? There, there's different things Forgive happening. Him. What? All guys make mistakes. Oh, no. Oh, stop. You're an 18-year-old girl. You what, can't what, do what, this what is wrong with this guy? Shit on your own. Okay, that's valid. What is all this other crap? He feels like her pimp. I feel like he just did lasting damage to the relationship. She's gonna I remember can do that. Anything I want on my own. Literally, I can rearrange atoms on a molecular level like it's easy. And two, is that what she's doing? That's pretty damn sure poor. I want to do this anymore. Good. It's about time. That includes this stupid family. Oh, no. oh. This is a memorable day in that in this household. And then she's thinking, whose shoulder can I can I cry on? Who can I lean on? And then she thinks about Mark, who's in a good mood these days and everything's going well. He seems like a someone sturdy to lean on. Lots of positivity coming from his his heart right now. <laughs> you missed a few letters. Pain oh, it's him. You got a long ass name. I called you here because I need your help. Why would I help you? You're a criminal. No, no, it's not that simple, Mark. So help me take down my boss. They don't get any worse than him. Who's your boss? Machine Head. That's not a real name. You haven't even seen the most ridiculous part yet. Wait till you hear his voice. It's some bullshit. <laughs> it's not a party for me either, man. It's better than the subway. Am I right? <laughs> you help real people with real lives. Think about that next time you're fighting some stupid elephant man or whatever. Why'd you borrow money from Machine Head anyway? <laughs> Daddy! <gasps> oh, she's sick. Normally I would say this is a little bit of a weird dilemma because you don't want to be like taking, taking missions from, from people. Although I guess the show's made it clear enough that, you know, this is a cause we're getting behind. He does have this right-hand man, uh, Isa, Isotope or something, I don't know, who can teleport him away if I'm not careful. Mom, can you pass the potatoes, please? Mom is so left out, but also considering her husband's violent nature. He's using you. I'm not an idiot, Dad. I right. Know someone's lying. You fought off an alien invasion, saved the country from an asteroid. This right. is beneath you. No, that's not the point. The point is you, you don't want to set a precedent of, like, taking requests. It seems weird. But I also know that helping someone is never beneath you. Unlike that cafe in France recently with the kaiju, am I right? Though he does need vacations, I kind of get that. It's so tough. It's a tough, tough issue. That's the last time the Lizard League turns yeah. people into snakes in my town. Aren't the Lizard League a bunch of chumps? First thing I fixed in this dump. Had to throw out whatever scanner or computer was in that spot though. <gasps> oh no! I hope that wasn't your girlfriend, robot. Up top. <laughs> At least they're getting along now. <laughs> Is this camaraderie? Uh, I guess. Two dozen civilians are in the hospital right now because we fought like six individual assholes instead of a team. Pull up the fight. It is like football. They got they got post game footage. Forget this. We did our best and we won. So what else? Doesn't mean you can't learn you from it. You don't even have powers, old man. None of this matters because they're all dead anyway. As usual, I'll be the only person who actually sacrificed something since I'm now a week younger than I was yesterday. Can you yeah, that is really, punks? really tough. Some of them. What's he, what's he thinking? I don't like that. I think Mark is putting his trust in someone he shouldn't. Instead of listening to me. <laughs> someone who can always be trusted. Do you want to talk about it? Yes. No. I don't yes, know. Yes, she does. I, I just don't know what I'm doing But anymore. she recognizes Mark. the danger. Mark is a seductive force. Mark volunteered to help me at the Beckwell Community Center downtown. We do yep. dinners twice a week for anyone who's hungry. Yeah, he will not be making it. <laughs> He's late all the time or doesn't show and then lies about why. I don't know if I can deal with it much longer. Guys are dicks. Is this Mark's sabotage? Really ones. Okay. Yeah, his that's, time that's management endearing. is awful. But he's super into you. Wow. They're all he talks about. Wow. Respect. That took a lot of guts. A lesser person would have sabotaged him right there. I like Mark a lot as the show goes on. But it's kind of funny how he's like this sort of clueless teenager being bounced between the two most mature high school girls of all time. I mean, what does Mark really have going for him? Besides, you know, being invincible. Although Mark's innocence is part of his charm, I think. There's a genuineness to it. Okay, I'm in. But we have to make it quick. I've got plans later tonight. What feels really great about this is that Mark is starting to connect this not to his own just enjoyment of it, but, you know, actually helping. Which seems in many ways the opposite of, uh, Omni-Man. I almost forgot how good I look. How do you know that's not the original in there? <laughs> Once they get out, you won't know, though. Welcome to the world of the living. <laughs> no! <laughs> that's hilarious. Don't start. I'm the original. <laughs> so the process was a success. I'll never I mean, you wouldn't know, right? you do that. 
This is your benefactor. What are you doing? I need your expertise in tissue growth and DNA replication. Is he building, building someone? Is that why he wanted Monster Girl? Something advantageous about her abilities? Is this a divorce call? Hi, honey. If you have a sec, could you pick up a few things for dinner? Oh. Well, I was thinking some tagliatelle from that restaurant. In oh, it's a espionage call. You looking for the costume, I suppose? You know superheroes and their outfits. They gotta have a lot of them to sell more action figures. It does feel like his leading flaw really is arrogance. He just doesn't think that anybody can ever touch him or that other people are stupider than him or something like that. He's infallible. What the fuck? Invincible's <laughs> right. I'm out of my league. Except I've got money. <laughs> the ultimate power. You have no idea. Yet. It's kind of cool though because this is like a starting of a friendship in a way, no? Between these two. You made it. And I do Come like on, Titan. I'll show you around. Guess who's going to be late for this mark? Mark's gonna be late. Hey, my parents cook exclusively with a microwave. This looks like a dream. Mark here yet? She got against that. <laughs> Don't you guys understand I have a date? I'm gonna grind you up and use you to pave my driveway. <laughs> that was almost a full song right there. You guys are fucking dead! Oh, oh wow. He just kill that guy? Next? Oh, damn. I'm the man's gonna save him. But he will be late, though. This is it. It's tough when you draw a line in the sand like that, and then you have to actually stand on your line. She doesn't want to break up with him. Oh, look who it is. Cecil got an anonymous call. We'll take it from here. Did Omni-Man call to sort of, like, help him save face or something? She can do more than three. Duplicate. Monster Girl is in trouble. Does she get weaker when that happens? You're getting exposed for your lack of team unity here. Robot just carrying the team on his back, or, or not. Go in his butthole. <laughs> just thinking outside the box here. Killing you is an act of mercy. What planet is he from? Damn. Oh my god, what in the- What the hell? I don't think he's making the community dinner. Black Samson, retreat. He just took off a suit? Oh no, oh no. This thunder cannon ended up being- Oh my god. So much more, more powerful than I thought. Where is Omni-Man? Is this like a lesson? A teaching experience? That he's not showing up? What just happened? She's okay, right? He's okay, right? I think he's dead. Thundercats is getting warmed up. Good news! They finally learned some unity and all it took was everyone dying. So we getting some beers later or what? Oh wow, she can actually retain her, her strength with her size change. This battle is beneath me. Is she dead? Is she... There is, is no dead? honor in killing insects. Yeah, convenient story. No, no, no. You don't have a healing quirk? No one? Recovery girl? Wrong show. The veggies are nice and soft tonight, bros. I made sure of it. Aww. She's not thinking about the veggies, though. She's burned up inside. Are we gonna lose him? It's a possibility, sir. No. And Omni Man just, just watched, which is really interesting. Yeah. There he is, still there, just watching. We're losing him. It's either a really, really tough learning experience, which we've seen him try to do before, or it's like part of him actually is okay with Mark dying because it eliminates a threat, or both. It's okay. I'm here. Oh, I'll good. Fix you. Oh, good. Oh, no, I don't like the way he said that, though. <laughs> okay, sad face, sad face on me, man. Mark loves you. He'd be here if he could. Just so someone tell her. Look, whatever you told that kid to get him on your side, it fucking... I told him the truth. I'm gonna make this city better for a lot of people. I knew it! Wow. I called it, but it still surprised me. Is this our new house? I didn't really think that was it. I was speaking just in terms of general precedence. <laughs> that feeling when you figure it out, but you still get caught. Filtromite cells don't give a damn. 
They just won't die. We'll keep trying. I, I got a feeling blood's still the answer. Yeah, okay, that gives him a strategy. I mean, if it's a super Superman thing, then there's a kryptonite out there somewhere. Have you tried Viltrum Rocks? I feel like this show's getting better and better. It's just a lot of fun. Typically, I'm not one to like focus on fight scenes, but I really love the, the penthouse fight scene between the hired crew and the Justice League. I really like Titan, but I feel I feel betrayed by him somewhat. And some interesting developments for Mark. I feel like he's definitely coming into himself in a good way. He has a trait that I think is really important that's sort of intangible and hard to describe, where he navigates and internalizes and understands things well on his own. His father's teaching him skills, superhero skills, and he's been shown the rope superhero-wise by a bunch of people, but his compass seems to be self-generated. He cares more about helping people, although there's obviously a lot to learn, right? Like how to not get betrayed or how not to get used, which is nice to see, although it doesn't mean there's not danger for him, just, you know, with the power that he has. And the fact that he just got destroyed, I feel like that that's hard to recover from emotionally in a way that felt like the end of innocence. This was a very near death experience. And then continued darkness with Omni-Man who almost watched his son get wiped out. And I'm, I'm wondering what that's about. We know that he's about tough love, but I can't help but wonder if part of it isn't him being indifferent to Mark's life because Mark is in many ways an obstacle. I still don't know what he wants fully, but I don't think he's done with his plan. It seems like he has some larger plan that he's working on and he's just maybe laying low for now because there's some heat. Mark would be a great successor to whatever his plan is is if Mark's on the same side, but it's increasingly clear that Mark is going a different direction emotionally and mentally. And if that is the case, then Mark is a threat or will become a threat as Omni-Man loses his powers. It seems that's what's going on. And then you have the love stuff, which was not as good this episode just because a lot of this was like that, you know, typical, I don't understand why my boyfriend's always late superhero thing, which to the audience can be a little frustrating just because we know everything already and it's so clear, which is why I'm like rooting for just like, just tell her so we can actually get back to some good dating stuff. Like they had that great date when they barely studied at all. So yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna be picking up momentum now towards the end of the season. So I'll see you guys for episode six.